Good morning, Guardians. This is Sean, also known as Otaku Horizon, and welcome back to another Destiny video. It is the weekly reset. It is currently 5 a.m., which is weekly reset over in East Coast USA. So, we're going to go through the weekly activities and whatnot, and also fail winter peak stuff. So, we'll start it out. The weekly nightfall is Archon Priest, Ax uh, not Axis, the Archon Priest, Epic, Berserk, Small Alarms for primary weapon damage is favored, Chaff where the radar is disabled, and Airborne, we deal more damage while in the air, which is pretty good. The Crisis Heroic, the Siva Crisis Heroic has Solar Burn, Small Alarms, and Ironclad. Hmm, well... Time to get your farming on. Alright. Over here. This. I have not seen this in forever. The weekly. The two weekly crucibles. Are salvage. And combined arms. Now combined arms is the playlist. It's 66 with vehicles on giant maps. Combined arms has not been a thing. Since like dark below, so yeah, that's that's gonna be awesome. So for uh, no, that's three. Let's go on and head over to the Fell Winter Peak, and we will see what they have for us. I will catch you guys in a second. And we have arrived on the peak, and as you can see. There's quest markers everywhere, so let's go check out Shiro 4 first. So, as you always, you have a weekly, um, you have a weekly patrol quest you have to do to get your book progress done. So if you go over her, and over to her, you have a weekly patrol quest, complete the weekly patrol quest. Those are the quests, and there's my buddy just straight up joining me. But the weekly Iron Lord bounties are use the Iron Battle Axe or powerful enemy weapons to decimate hostile threats, kill fallen majors and ultras, complete patrols, and servitor encounters in Archon's Forge. So if you ever find any blue little vials for the Siva offerings, those are servitors. So you get those done. And for sorry about that. <laughs> and so for the class items this week, he's selling the mantle of Perun for hunters, the Yoder's Iron Sash for Titans, and the Scory's Iron Bond for Warlocks, which this little the vanilla bond for Iron Banner. And so yeah. Let's go head over to Tyra Karn and whatnot. And let's go see what Iron Lord artifacts she has for this week. Hello, Tyra. So, this, this is how you get a new artifact every week. Every week she'll have a quest for you. You take that quest. And yeah. So this week's Iron Lord artifacts are Memory of Felwinter, lose your super but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and small boost to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. Just perfect time for trials. Perfect time for trials. Thanks, Bungie. Wombo combos, smoke nades everywhere. The second ornament, or not ornament, artifact is Memory of Scory. Which is going to be great for Sunsinger Warlocks. When your super is full, nearby allies' supers recharge faster. And then Memory of Perun. Enemy Guardians with full supers and all enemies with low health are highlighted. Enemies with supers will be highlighted yellow. And enemies with low health, which means no shields, will be highlighted red. So, in order to get the Iron Lord Legacy, you have to do the Plague Land. Or, not the Plague Lander. The quest that she gives you every week. So yeah. Anyways, that is 
Oh, I got the hiccups. <laughs> that is your weekly reset guide for week two of Rise of Iron. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. I much appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Farewell, Guardians.